Hi again, Red Hat developers. This is Jason with the Red Hat Developers Program here at Summit 2017. We're in the dev zone today with Eric Chabelle, who's going to show us how to install OpenShift Container Platform in just a few minutes. Everybody, uh, welcome to the talk here. This is going to be a 10 minute quick talk, uh, a lightning talk on how to install a cloud in a couple of minutes. We're going to frame this a little bit here. Uh, what do you need for container development? You're pretty much looking for something you can do in the cloud, uh, something you can do locally, but then you can also put that into the cloud. Um, and it needs to have a very easy, easy install. So what do you end up in reality doing? You're, you're spending a lot of time putting together your cloud environments locally on your developer machine. Um, you're, you're digging into documentation, you're messing around with uh, uh, the downloads you need to get together. Um, step by step to, to sort this stuff out, configure it, make the right users, uh, all kinds of interesting interfaces you have to learn how to use. And you're also kind of tracking these community uh, uh, fixes and things coming down the pipeline. Um, what I'm looking to do is take this hard part and turn it into something easy and give you something that's really simple to start without a lot of hassle. Uh, I do a lot of that maintenance for you, uh, so it makes it really easy. So what do you need to do? Um, you're going to need to uh, bring a laptop with you, um, and you have to have some kind of connection. The better the connection, the faster this goes. Um, I've done it here uh, just before this session started. It took five minutes on conference Wi-Fi with everybody on it. When I do this at home on a 500 megabit line, it's about two minutes. So you can do it really quick. And um, I'm saying that's all you need. Um, there's a few more dependencies you're going to need, but I've gotten that taken care of for you too. So it's almost the same thing. What we're doing is doing a, a, a project I put together. It's called the OpenShift Container Platform. Um, it gives you the stability to, to mess around with your application development and application delivery in the cloud locally on your machine. Um, it's maintaining the latest offerings of the OpenShift Container Platform, so we're not talking about community pieces, we're talking about actual product pieces that are supported uh, and available for you to work with. Um, it's a local installation, it works on Linux, it works on any version of uh, uh, OSX or a Linux or Unix-based system. Uh, it also works on Windows. Uh, I've done my best to pull that all together. Normally when you would do this kind of install yourself, you'd end up with an OpenShift container platform with no image stream. So none of the product stuff you might want to mess with, uh, the source to image stuff, uh, things like .NET, some of the JBoss uh, streams that are provided. I take care of all of that for you also. You also do not need to log into the Red Hat developers to do that. Um, all this stuff is taken care of from the OpenShift container platform using those credentials. Uh, very clear and simple instructions. There's a readme you gotta follow. There's an image there of it and a link to it. I'll show you this in a minute. Very simple to do. So the next thing we should do is just take this for a spin. And um, I have to admit that uh, we had to cheat a little bit because I didn't want to risk not fitting this within 10 minutes. It turns out it takes about five. So if you look at the timestamp there, 1415, I kicked it off. Once you check out the project, all it is is an init, an init SH, right? You kick that off on the Linux system. Shows you a little bit of ASCII art. I'm a fan of that. Um, it's doing some checks. Uh, VirtualBox here is uh, part of the, the Mac OS uh, requirements. If you don't have it, it's going to stop, tell you where to go get it. So it provides a link, go get it, install it. If uh, Docker is not installed, the right version, uh, it, or not running, it will tell you and point you to where to go get it. If it's not running, it'll tell you to start it. I'll do this on all the platforms. It's going to check for valid uh, OpenShift uh, client tooling, uh, the OC command. If you don't have that, it's going to point you to where to go get it. So the right versions you need for this. And then it's basically going to kick off and start installing this stuff. And once it does that, it also, as you'll notice here, is detect on your machine some kind of IP. So instead of you having to memorize this and figure this out, I capture this within the install and we'll report at the end which IP you need to use. It goes down here to the bottom and you're gonna notice a bunch of streams being pulled in. What this does is goes out and gets all the product streams so you can use all this great stuff you saw on the stage today, for example, and use that inside of the OpenShift uh, container platform. All the JBoss stuff is done. All the integration and Fuse stuff is done. All the uh, basic uh, S2I stuff for the middleware platform is done. Uh, and I refresh all the uh, image streams that uh, might not be up to date and whatever we're pulling down, you're getting the fresh stuff right out of the container catalog. Uh, and then we pull in the .NET image because I have a couple of demos that do some pretty cool stuff with uh, .NET and things like that. When you get to the bottom here, it's going to tell you exactly where you need to go. It's captured that IP address. Once you open that up, you're now looking at the OpenShift container platform, the real thing, in about, how many minutes was that? So, five minutes using conference Wi-Fi. OpenShift dev, and then devel is the password. And then for fun, what I did after that is there's no point in stopping. You might as well do more interesting stuff on top of this, right? So I have a, a, a 
AppDev in the Cloud collection at the Red Hat Demo uh, Center, Central uh, there. It's a, a GitHub repo organization where I collect all this kind of stuff that runs on top of it. So you're going to see there the, the OC, uh, OCP install demo is the one we just did. It's right there on the left in the image. And the second one on the right there, the third one, these are a little bit more complicated ones with multiple containers, multiple services. It's pretty interesting stuff. Um, so if we go over here, you can see what that looks like. And what I did is I took one of the uh, one of the demos. This is the one we installed just to get the container platform. This one is a, a travel agency that I'm going to be doing a workshop this next week in the Boston Jug. So if the Java Users Group, if you're interested in joining us, uh, go ahead and uh, check the Meetup uh, app, and you can join that stuff that's downtown here. And what you're doing there is putting together a, a, a bunch of uh, web services for a travel destination, travel budgets and stuff. So I took the very first one, which is our application uh, uh, platform with the business rules management system on top of it, and then the discount travel rules in a spreadsheet. So I went ahead and installed that. To get an idea what that looks like. You just kick that off with an init, another init script, and you add the IP address to any OpenShift instance. It doesn't have to be the one you just installed. It could be one you're running at your work or any place else. It'll just point to that and start kicking off a container build. And you can actually, it locks this up and captures everything that's happening in that container build on OpenShift locally, so you can watch what's going on. And you get to the bottom, it tells you where to log into this thing. We will capture this just to save ourselves a little trouble. Go back over to container platform. You see that it's kicked off a project. Inside of that, you're gonna find a container that's already done because I did this ahead of time. This takes about seven or eight minutes here, so it would have been outside my 10 minute timeline. You can see there we had a build that ran. We have a deployment that's done. And if all went well, we have a route that's been deployed that gives us JBoss BRMS. And these are like all the demos I ever make. That's Eric S, JBoss BRMS, one exclamation point. I'm a little bit famous within Red Hat for these demos, so. And there you go. And if we go inside this to the project authoring where the actual thing is at, there you can see a spreadsheet, which is the discount rules that are used with a couple of other containers and a fuse integration and an endpoint that you can hit and it will collect all this stuff. And if, for example, you use Hertz as your reservation, you get a 15% discount. Feel free to go check that out because all that stuff is available online. You can run that locally on your laptop. We're talking six containers, OpenShift container platform and under 13 gigabytes on your laptop of RAM. So it runs on anything with 16 or less. It's pretty sweet, to be honest. Want to see some other cool stuff I'm doing? Uh, tomorrow, uh, I'm not sure exactly the time, you can look it up there, but discover the foundations of digital transformation. I talk about the whole Cloud Suite stack and what it applies to the stuff you're looking at today. And if you have friends that you want to show this to or didn't make it to this thing, I'm going to be over at the other uh, mini uh, theater that we got going on doing this exact same thing again on Thursday. Yeah? If you have any questions, feel free to find me. I'm real easy to find, just Google. Thank you.